Okay, so I shouldn't. So if you're gonna talk about if I talk about rape scenes, I can say rape scenes, right? Just don't hold back. All right, that's good. I'm Matthew Garside, and I like fucked up films. Well, I enjoy a variety of films, but one sort of niche genre of film I like is sort of effed up movies. Surrealist, weird, very out there, different art house films. The main reason I like effed up films is because they offer an experience different to that of conventional classic Hollywood cinema, where they, I suppose, uh, do something different. They're not studio produced, uh, shoveled out movies uh, for the public to enjoy on a basic uh, level. Uh, these movies are more provocative. They make you think more, they make you feel more, and they make you come out of it feeling maybe perhaps a bit uneasy, unsettled, or otherwise it gives you a change of perspective on a certain issue or makes you think harder about what you're seeing. One film I really like that's deemed effed up is a film called Antichrist. And Antichrist uh, has one particularly brutal scene where the main character is getting pummeled by a large object. Uh, shouldn't be laughing. But uh, he ends up bleeding from his penis and he gets jerked off to the point where he comes out blood. And... Uh, <laughs> It's, it's particularly brutal, and why do I enjoy that? Well, you don't see that anywhere else, do you? That's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, and other than that, the film is pretty nice and surreal, and I would definitely recommend checking it out, albeit the, uh, the, the blood cum. These effed up films have inspired me in my own life to make uh, my own effed up film, which ended up being called Writer's Block. And Writer's Block was released in 2019, and it was made during a time where I was feeling not the, in the best headspace, really, and I had to make a script for my final project at TAFE. So what I did was it, I scrapped an old script I had and started writing Writer's Block. That was my first venture into the making the effed up films, making something that I truly wanted to make and not something that I felt like I had to make. I took influence from a Razorhead uh, as inspiration for Writer's Block, uh, mostly into the sound design of how there is a low rumble throughout the entire film of a Razorhead. And I used that in my film Writer's Block. And it wasn't until the climax where the rumbling stopped in the film and you don't realize it, but you can tell something is off when that scene happens. Um, and I just wanted to create or recreate from a Razorhead that feeling of uh, being unsettled that feeling of being uncomfortable and not even realizing why. So the sound design was definitely part of it. My own emotions were translated through writer's block during a time where I was feeling quite uncertain of the future and quite really lonely in my own mind. So I wanted to translate that feeling of loneliness, of emptiness, so in my film Writer's Block, it is like a void and the character is stuck in it, almost representing my feelings of feeling like I was stuck and didn't know where to go. And I was hoping that the viewers themselves would see that. So my hopes for the future are now that I'm out of university, I'm going to work on art house films. I want to work on unconventional movies, movies that make you feel disturbed, make, movies that make you feel unsettled, or just movies that challenge ideas that are otherwise taboo to the general public. I want to get in on that market because that's what drives me to be a filmmaker in the first place.